Quest 2 accessories, we just keep getting more out there. I've shown you a couple golf clubs so far. Some I like for walkabout mini golf, some that work better for the more pro ones. AMVR has their answer with an extendable arm golf club. Let's check this out. Now, 80 bucks is not cheap. Gotta have that small sharp unboxing knife. As I was saying, 80 bucks is not cheap for a golf club. So I'm gonna say this is more of like a enthusiast or almost pro level golf club. This is not something you're gonna be buying probably just to play walkabout mini golf with your friends. Pretty easy unboxing at least. It definitely wins a few points in my book for the coloring so far. I think it looks really cool. Do not over rotate to the right. It says rip from here. Oh, eventually it worked. So I'm guessing, is this like a shower curtain handle? Okay, well, it looks like it goes from about 50 centimeters all the way to 80. It shows 65, but it goes a little, maybe, maybe 70, but it says stop here. So I'm not exactly sure yet how you tighten it down. You gotta turn quite a bit, but you can lock it in place there like that. Oh. So many interesting things to play with. Well, I had a controller ready here to put in, but I think that the way this works, you actually have to have the safety strap on, which you always should. So obviously if you're using wrist straps or something that don't use the stock cables, what do you want to call these cords? I don't know, wrist straps, I guess. You're going to have an issue because you're going to need these to actually lock these in place. So if we put this in here, get this in the cup nice and tight. It looks like it shows arrows on here. What you're supposed to do is wrap this around and then you run it through here into there, into this little notch, and then you turn this until that notch locks it in place. It's an innovative idea, actually. I like that, but I know a lot of people aren't rocking those stock wrist straps anymore. You switched up to some grips or something better, so that might be kind of a pain for you, but it's a nifty idea. I gotta say, since I was at Top Golf kind of recently, hitting some balls, this actually feels like the best weight as far as when you're holding a driver. Like this feels like the balance and the weight of a driver. Although if you're using an iron, of course, irons are a lot heavier, so it's not gonna feel right for using an iron. But the whole idea here, it gets longer. So you, if you're someone who wants to have it up high, if you're someone who wants to have it way down low, although remember, the longest thing is the more chances are you're gonna break something with it. And you just twist to lock it in place, twist to make sure your controller stays tight. And then if you wanna take your controller back out, you push up on this part and then it'll unwind. But if it's not pushed up, it'll keep tightening further and further that way. Push up, unhook it, and you can easily retrieve your controller. Wow. This actually seems probably like the highest quality, wellest, wellest, is that a word? Most nicely produced one we've checked out yet, but it's $80. If you're getting in top golf and you're trying to get yourself some real golf practice and feel it for real, this is probably good, but dang. We're gonna take this over, play some golf, check it out, and then get back to you with some final thoughts on this and uh, how it works so far. Way too short. Give me the thing. Okay, come on. Come on, that's way too far. Almost, try again. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Yes. There we go. Perfect. So after some testing, I have got to say, this is actually one of my favorite clubs that I've used so far. I will still use the 3D printed Mr. Tass ones more because Walkabout Mini Golf is the main game I play and this is way too long for Walkabout Mini Golf. But right now AMVR did give us a discount code. So this is down to $42 with the Amazon Prime off and the discount code, which is really cheap, but it's only for a week. So if you're seeing this video today and you want this thing, you should order it with the discount now. Check the description for more details. A couple things I wanted to call out. One, I realized afterwards, this is actually an ambidextrous controller. So even the left controller fits in here. So if you're someone who's using it lefty, although most games, they want you to use the right controller and then you just switch it to left mode. But if for some reason you needed to use the left, it is an option with this, which I really like about it. It's a little weird when you're trying to use the extension on it because by nature, you want to grab here, but this part turns to tighten up the string. So you end up turning and it's not doing what you want. You have to learn to grab it up here 
and then do the extension. The extension's a cool idea, although I don't know when anyone's gonna use that. I mean, who has this much physical space that they're swinging this thing around in and isn't gonna hit something? I found even here was definitely long enough. Oh God. <laughs> I must have moved. Do I have this on the short? I have it on the shortest setting too. But the lightweight feels really good when you're playing with a driver in Golf Plus. It feels really accurate and realistic to it. The handle feels perfectly like a real golf club. And if you get it on that sale right now, $42, that is a really good price for what you're getting. So I will definitely leave a link in the description. I'm impressed. AMVR usually knocks it out of the park. I can't believe you've done this. It's actually a baseball term, but whatever. This is really nice. I really like it. I like that it uses the string involved. It is something to consider if you have grips and all that, but I said that earlier, so. What do you think? You a golfer out there, you're gonna get this for Top Golf, Golf Plus, any of that fun stuff. I think it will make it a lot nicer because trying to do this in golf nope. feels just terrible. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments. I wanna say thank you so much for coming out, and I will see you in another reality.